hi what's up guys welcome back to my channel once again i welcome you to jerry graphic design 247 hope you guys are doing great today i bring a new episode on today's tutorial i will be showing you how you can design this particular logo let's get started yeah what's up guys welcome back to jerry graphic 247 i hope you guys are doing good today i will be showing you how you can design a 3d logo of taylor fashion and how you can present the mock-up on photo g and i will be showing you how you can make use of pixel app tools on this tutorial as well for those of us that are having challenge of photo g on how to do a um, mock-up on photo g um, there is some mock-up that you do on photo g but it's not that it will not come out that big as you want it that challenge i will find a solution to it today on this tutorial it will come to an end if you are finding it difficult on this tutorial, I want to show you how you can do the particular mock-up that if you come up large, unique, and presentable as you want it. And also, I will show you how you can save the image in transparent background in Pixel Lab so that it will be that large on photo G as you want it. Yeah, it depends on how you save the image in Pixel Lab that it will come up on photo G. Yeah. So on today, I want to show you how you can save the image of um, photo G mockup. You can save it anyhow image. So you need to know the particular size that you will save it. So on this tutorial, I want to take you to that tour, how you can save it and how you can do the mockup and your mockup will become presentable. All right, guys, without wasting much of our time, let's get started. Don't forget, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, do well to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell and put it on all so that as you drop a new tutorial, you will be the first person to notify and you will always notify. Thank you. Now, well, um, we are going to start with the machine, all right? So go to wherever you save it the resources will be on the description yeah you can download for free okay and make use of it so i want to give this a particular uh color and then i want to make use of texture just go to your texture there is this particular texture that i want to use here is it you mark it then open this one leave it as it is just open this one and then mark it then go to your 3d shape open it then take this bit to uh one like you just take it back then come here then make this one let's say just make it 58 let, let us make it 58 or 60 let's leave it like this then take this one Let's make this one. I want to make it 50. Good. Then mark it. Then I want to give this a shadow. Go to your shadow. Just open your shadow like this. Then mark it. Having done that, let's lock it so that it will not disrupt us. The next thing that I want to do now, I want to bring out a shape. Go to your plus sign, turn the radius to 100. All right, I want to uh, bring out a cycle. Then go to your opacity, reduce the opacity of this shape to zero. Then let's give it a stroke, a black one as that. Let's make it, um, I want to make it seven. Or let's, let's make it seven. 
cool then increase the size make it wider all right so that as we do the mock-up on photo g it will uh, be more unique and presentable let's go with this now let's reduce the size of this stroke a bit let's make it I think six should be okay. And then mark it. I haven't done that. Position this at the center. Position the ship at the center. Let's increase the size of this machine a bit. Okay. Let's increase the size a bit. Let's make it 82, then position it at the center. Cool. Let's use this position to shift it a bit like this. Now, the next thing that I want to do now, I want to cut off this sheep. I want to cut off this sheep. Okay. So let's lock this machine first. Then bring out another sheep. I hope you see what I'm doing. Just make sure it's under this machine like this. Then mark it. The next thing that I want to do now is to bring out another sheep. Then turn the radios of this one to hundred to make it a cycle then reduce the size then mark it then use your uh, relative position position it at the center like this the next thing that I'm going to do now I want to match these shapes together then I will cut them off. Just match them together. Then go to your uh, in, um, erase color. We are going to erase the white. Something like this. Cool. Then mark it. Click OK. The next thing we are going to do now is to duplicate this cycle. Double tap it like this. Then reduce the size. Let's lock the first one. Then reduce the size of this a bit. Position is at the center. Let's increase it a bit. I don't want it to give much space to each other. Okay, let's go with this and see how it goes. I think we can go with this cool. Then mark it. Let's lock it. The next thing I want to do now, I want to bring out um, another sheep again. Don't bring out another sheep. Then change the color to make the color black. Sorry, just watch what I'm doing. I want to place it here. Let's position it. Let's check if it is okay. All right, let's bring it down a bit. It's too high. No, no, no. Okay. 
let's take it in a bit I want it to be at the same alignment, okay? Cool. The next thing that we're going to do now is to duplicate this particular sheet. Just double tap it, then bring it down. Bring it to the second side. Cool. Having done that, the next thing that we're going to do now is you bring out another sheet again. Then make the color black as well. Just make it like this. Cool. Let's bring it down a bit. Let's do something like this. I think like this should be okay. Cool. Then mark it. I haven't done that. Let's lock it. There is this particular resource that I want to use again. Let's go to, back to gallery. Then I want to give it the same color that i give to this machine which is uh, i want to make use of texture as i use for the other one just go to your texture use the same texture then open this mark it then let's go to our 3d sheet Then mark it. Let's give it a shadow as well. Just make it like, let's reduce it a bit. No, let's increase it. Let's make it 12. Then reduce the size so that it will be fitable at this top. I want to place it at the top here. Then use your um, relative position. Position it at the center. Let's bring it down a bit. I want it to be fitted with the down side. Let's check it. No, let's reduce the size a bit. Cool. Having done that, let's bring out the name of the brand. Okay, just go to your plus sign, go to your text. Let's say Ashe Eso. D. Fashion. That is the name of the brand that I want to use. Then bring it down here. Now let's give it a font that is a particular font that I just used recently. This is the font. You can use any font that you want. And I swear you can change your texture, change the color of your machine depending on the kind of color that your brand wants or you want if you are doing it for yourself 
then bring it to this um, line the middle of this shape you must have positioned it at the center as well now let's vary this a bit so that the n will comes out and then the a will comes out as well the next thing that we are going to do now is double tap this then let's bring out our phone number okay depending on your country right let's remove this zero sorry don't mark it then bring it down here now we need to change this sorry we need to change this color um to black as well change the color of this one to black as well then let's work on this reduce the size of this reduce it like this then go to let's go to our space we need to space this just space it like this let's make it 30 cool then position it at the center let's bring out our whatsapp icon whatsapp icon whatsapp Just crop it like this. Make sure you alight it very well. Then position it. Bring it down at the same line with the phone number. Then mark it. Let's increase this uh, phone number size a bit. Let's increase the size a bit. Cool. Now, the next thing that we're going to do now, we need to change this background. Okay, let's change it to something white. Let's make the background white. Cool. Now, let's say, first of all, before we, we save it, uh, for photo G, let's save to our gallery first. We need to save it in two ways. Alright. Save as PNG and Ultra. Now, having done that, we are going to save it with transparent background all right so this um particular logo as you guys can see it is larger okay yeah i make it like this because of photo g yeah if you are doing um uh, a designing 
a, a logo that you want to do the mock-up of photoji you need to make it larger on big Zella. the logo will comes up on photoji based on how larger it is on big Zella. so as you can see the larger of this logo is okay like this so no need for me to um you know increase the size of this logo okay i will just go to transparent background and then save it the same thing sorry save it the same thing save as png and ultra and you will see how the mock-up will comes up on photo g all right guys having done that let's move to photo g and do this particular mock-up and see how this logo will come on see you there We are going to make use of photo g now so open your photo g like this as you can see this is the interface of photo g all right the next thing that we are going to do now i want to show you step by step on how you can make use of photo g uh, that is if this is your first time of um, having knowledge of photo g so i want to show you that step by step on how you can uh, achieve it and do your logo mock-ups all right guys the first thing that we're going to do now we are going to click here yeah just click on this new project if this if this is your first time of using a uh, photo g this is how the interface is, is okay although there, there is a bit um changes okay but it will not be that much just settle it and then but this place like this is there normally okay so we are going to make use of this place click on new project now as you can see it will thank you here once you click on new project now what are we going to do next we are going to click on here on this back on this obvious sorry sorry let me make it cool so that you can see it you i hope you are seeing it this just click on back then click on this insert from gallery okay it will take you to your gallery direct then click here without crop just click it then go to your gallery it will take you to your gallery then go to your big lab of course the image should be on your big lab that's the particular logo that we just made all right the next thing that we are going to do now we are going to click here that is the 3d yeah you must not click there you can come to this uh icon sorry sorry for that you can come up to this icon as well these three dots here and then bring out your 3d logo as you can see here is a 3d you see convert they say convert to 3d mockup you can click there and comes up with it all right so let's just click here then click here like this remember everything about this uh, particular app is in arabic because all right it's not in english here so you need to make use of it carefully any mistake you make it may um that makes a particular mock-up yeah the particular mock-up may just delete from the phone you will not have access to it again so the only way for you to have access to it is for you to uh, download a new version which is this particular app you cannot find it on place too so take note but it will be dropped on the uh, video description for free okay you can download and make use of it all right let's wait for it although it take a bit time for it to uh upload so let's wait for it
um, this is the uh, mock ups okay it has opened so that is this uh, particular mock up that i want to use as you can see all these are mock ups okay you can choose any one you want okay now uh, first of all let me show you how you can make use of this mock up okay just you see you see this two um shapes here this two line that we are saying they are blue and they are brown okay so now let's say for instance if you click on this blue that it will take you to where you can do your mock-up well if you click here you have deleted this particular mock-up you deleted this particular mock-up from this uh app from your phone it has been deleted so you will not have access to it you will not even see it again so you need to be careful on how you can use this all right guys let's go to the mock-up that we're going to use for this logo note it's not every mock-up that you see that you just um go and do your logo with it so every um mock-up here has a particular logo that you can do with it and then a particular color as well so you need to uh, have the understanding of making use of this app before you do your mock-up okay this is the mock-up that i want to use this particular mock-up that is the one that i want to use now let's click here like i said so that we can do our mock-up click on the blue one then click on accept okay click on accept now you must watch the ad before you give the mock-up so you need to speak it you speak it you not give the mock-up so wait for the ad let the ad run to the end all right guys now the ad has come to our end now we are going to cancel this just click here to cancel this then wait for it it's loading so you need to be patient with it okay it it run faster depending on your network okay so the next thing that we're going to do now we're going to click here it has run already click here then wait for it cancel this just click here cancel it let's wait for it so the particular mock-up is running already so as you can see these are the previous one that i did today so the one that we just did now see it here is still running okay cool as you can see this is the mock-up i hope you are seeing it this is the mock-up okay so this is how you can do mock-up on um photo g and it can be presentable so uh, i want to remind you of this know how you can save this on big Zen lab make sure you make the logo more larger so that as you do the mock-up here it will come large if you if you notice this this particular mock-up is not that large as this this one okay so it depends on how you stay it there so this is how you can do it now for you to save just click here this black color just click it once it comes to 100 then it's saved to your gallery wait for it cool now if you check your gallery just go to your gallery is there so that is how to make use of photo g how you can do the mock-up thank you thank you for watching and god bless you don't forget if you like this video share it subscribe to our, our channel if you have any challenge please do it drop it on the comment section i will attend to you see you then